Today on the bench, we're gonna tie you up the seal bugger. Now, one main ingredient in this fly is the seal fur, but another main material need is this burnt orange hackle. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're gonna use a Mustad R74 size eight. We'll tie with some 8 dot olive thread, for the weight, we'll use some .015 lead, some black marabou for the tail, some medium copper wire as the ribbing, some green seal dubbing as the body, and a burnt orange grizzly hackle for the hackle. First thing we want to do is add a little weight to the fly. So I'm going to take my .015 lead and just wrap it around the hook, just so the hook is fully covered with thin lead wire. Take your green thread and tie it in and cover up the lead wire so it doesn't move on your hook. Take some black marabou, measure it up the length of your hook, move it to the back and tie it in for the tail. Take some copper wire, some medium copper wire, and wrap it in at the butt and this will be used for the ribbing later. Now I'm going to take a burnt orange grizzly saddle hackle and tie it in by the tip and it's very important that you tie this in by the tip. This will be used to hackle our body a little later. Take some seal fur and now start dubbing in a nice thin body. Again, this is imitating damsels, small dragons, things like that. You want to keep the body fairly thin. So dub it in fairly small and thin and then wrap forward to form the body. Now that the body's tied in, I'm going to take my medium copper wire and slowly wrap four to five turns up the body. With the body tied in, I'm now going to take my burnt orange hackle and make four turns up the body, no more than four turns. Three, four, and once I hit the top of the fly, I'm just going to wrap in the excess and form a nice bushy head. The hackle's all wrapped up to the head. Now what I'm gonna do, trim off my excess and just wrap a green head on this fly. Wrap quite a bit of thread around the eyelet just to form a nice green head. And there you have it, the finished green seal bugger. You know this pattern works exceptionally well during the spring and the fall, but really imitates small dragons and damselflies. flies.